Oh boy, hello, good morning. I'm quite backed up, aren't I? Not in the right ways. Today, we're actually getting a train all the way to Amsterdam. I've never actually gone the route of getting a train. Planes are usually really cheap, but I was looking, found a crazy deal. Both Heather and I ended up getting a return ticket all the way to Amsterdam, and it's only going to cost us 100 pounds each. Heather's never been to Amsterdam. It's time to see the lovely city, homo speculos, and strobe waffle. Let's get to the train. How's your experience going to the Eurostar so far? Very smooth. Very smooth. We still have to take like all the stuff out electronics wise, but uh, liquids. They actually had this specific little thing to put our cups of coffee. I couldn't have. It's, it's just wild. It's now time to board the platform. What was your review of the Eurostar? Uh, smooth. Smooth. I just like that we're now in Amsterdam. We're not at an airport, as in, it's not like we have to get like a tram in. We're literally here in the middle of the city. Really smooth. Didn't have our ears pop. Got a little food. It's nice. Check in's at like 3 p.m., which is wild. So I guess we're just gonna get some stroke pop. Well, that's it. We're gonna yeah. get some stroke pop. I really wish I'd vlogged this a bit now. It would have been a very good clip of me waving goodbye to Heather instead of just knocked. The door closed and wouldn't let me off, so I just ditched Heather and I stayed on the tram. And now I'm off about one stop ahead. I think she's about like a three minute walk away. Uh, we're going to pick up some bikes now. Gonna rent a, oh my God, Kitty. Hello. All right, here's our bikes. Heather, are you excited? Yep. You ever cycle? Not on the right side of the road. Only on the wrong side of the road. All right, let's go. This is uh, it's fun. I'd say this is definitely something you gotta do. If you're wondering why I have a headphone in, uh, one headphone is specifically so I can hear where we're meant to go. All right. An expert here. We lock the bikes up right next to this beautiful canal. This is probably my eighth time in Amsterdam. And the first time I ever went to Amsterdam, which was genuinely like 10 years ago, I ended up going to this place called Landscroom. I don't know if it's the best of all the strobe waffles, but it's a familiar one. I always end up coming to this specifically. They're baked fresh, they're really big, and I'm excited to get a nice tasty stroke waffle. I'm not a selfie stick guy, but I just got this uh, DJI Osmo Action 4, and I wanted to integrate it in, see how convenient it is compared to usually using my giant camera setup, just mixing it up a bit. Does it taste like a stroke waffle? Doesn't taste like the ones you can see. Yeah. It's like a different thing. We have now walked past the cheese store. Essentially, uh, Heather has never been here, so I wanted to show her the flower markets. This is a massive, massive flower market. Lots of plants. Any tulips you want? Get some seeds here. Get some bulbs. Not the wet. Look, look what, what we got here. Beautiful. If you don't know, it's a tulip. Do you know how these flowers blow kisses with their two lips? Mwah. Whoa, pepper nuts. I thought this place would have been built for people like me. Oh. oh. All right, made it out. To be fair, it is padded because of people like you. <laughs> oh my god, we have to see the gay cactuses. They're just spray painted. That must be. No, it's just a gay cactus, Heather. He identifies. Wild. He's very proud. Heather, you ready for a life-changing experience? I am absolutely ready. We're going to the vegan junk food bar. This is uh, probably my favorite vegan food in the world, actually. I've been here like every time I come to Amsterdam. Took my mom here, taking Heather here. We gotta go. Right? Ah, perfect, thank you. Oh. All right, here is our amazing feast. We've got daddy. Me cruelty free and onion ring eating. Mmm, that's crispy. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. So, you don't understand the system of roads here? They have lots of arrows that point towards you, and it's not what I'm used to. Yeah, honestly, uh, I'm just praying. And the, the cycling here is just a lot of prayer. Having a good time? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, it's a bit dark. Uh, Heather and I are currently on our way to a night canal tour. I did one with my mom in the, in the middle of the day, so I'm excited to do one at night now. All right, this is really exciting news from Amsterdam. We're about to try out the brand new bicycle parking lot. Dutch one's fine. I, I can't speak Dutch. I'm so sorry to the Dutch. Oh, it's a bicycle escalator. A bisexulator. No, no. no. Okay, beautiful. So, You're throwing me in the water. We're going into the ah. Do you know if there's um, a way to buy the chip cart around here? What did you say? To buy a chip cart to come in. You must buy it in the train station. Ah, uh, train station. So no coming in without the chip cart, right? No well, you want to stay inside? No contact list. Oh, I just wanted to park for about two hours. Two, three hours. And I can do it for this course. This uh, first time. Oh, but, but the next time you must uh, buy them. That's very tight. I left. Yep. I literally have two of them in London. Okay. But thank you. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Oh, this is uh, this is glorious, Heather. This is. This is a, this is like going to Toys R Us as a kid. This is, except it's uh, the only thing you could ever want at Toys R Us is multiple bikes. Oh my God. This is. Oh, you're gonna go that way? Um, no, Heather, come down, lucky number thirteen. This is this is what we want. Let's see. I'm looking for a low one. We've got a lot of high ones around. Found ourselves some spots. Nailed it. We're getting upsold some cheese and wine at the moment. Heather booked us a, a package and uh, we're the only ones that didn't get cheese and wine. So they're just gonna put it in front of us. But we don't get any. I'm gonna get a Heineken. All right, good morning. Heather and I, after a uh, fun little cycle in which coffee went some places, we've made it to the Van Gogh Museum. I've actually been here on a brand deal before for uh, a Van Gogh-related film. But now we are going to go see some stuff. Heather, have you ever seen any actual Van Gogh? I think so. Well, let's Van Gogh this way. All right, well, I'll stop. Heather's throat uh, has started hurting a bit, so I don't think you should try and pronounce it the right way. It would probably make it worse. You know, a little bit of Van Gogh. Oh. Can't do it. Uh, so we're just gonna stop by, see if we can get some uh, meds for Heather's little sore throat, and uh, maybe go for a cycle through Bondel Park. Nice day. I can't believe we got a whole week of 29 degrees. Very nice. Um, so I've had a sore throat on and off for about a week, but very mild. Yeah. And yesterday evening, um, about an hour or two, it suddenly got really, really bad. Yeah. Um, and so it's been very bad since yesterday yeah. evening. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of just hit in the evening. We went on some canal cruise. We had a Coke Zero. Who knows? Yeah. And uh, then. Never do this. Right. <laughs> I agree. All right. So that worked out well. Now we're going to go to a famous market in Amsterdam to get some of the original stroke waffles and some ice cream. I want a twee wee wa. A twee wee wa. So Amsterdam is well known for many of its markets. Uh, this one is called, I can't pronounce it correctly, Albert. I'm gonna go with Cope. I feel like that makes sense. Coip Cope. Loads of different vendors here selling wigs. We've got hats. We've got ice cold refreshing kombucha. Do you don't want it? Not, not for you today. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Six of the pack. So, one or two? Yeah. It's just a half chocolate. It's the half chocolate. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. So, classic Evan fashion. Actually, I haven't done something like this in a really long time, so I'm going to give myself a little slack. Uh, we just finished up having a little sit, a little water, a little ice cream, and uh, went to get the bikes, unlocked them, stuck it about, what, two minutes away, and then stuck it back in 30 seconds. <laughs> I'd left my backpack, and I went, wow, I feel so free. I feel so freeing. It feels like air conditioning. My back is so, my back. <laughs> we got it. The backpack is back. <laughs> I think I would have been fine. There are multiple air tags inside of it, so I think I would have been able to uh, get by, but that has. <sighs> I'm surprised I didn't get alerted on the air tag thing. Yeah, we'll be going back probably. No, I, plus I was bicycling, so it wasn't like. I might have gotten the vibration on my watch. I just didn't see it. Anyway, now we're going to go just. Uh, even though we've been cycling all around for the whole day, we're now going to just recreationally cycle around Bondel Park with my backpack. My bike does not change gears, so I'm pretty much in third gear, or randomly it will just go, actually it's gear one now. Uh, so I'm letting Heather have a little ride test to see what it's like to live, to live my life. So, what'd you think? Yeah, he doesn't change gear right, does he? No, you couldn't change them, or did it work no, at some point? Eventually. Yeah. Um, it just, it, it tries, you change gear and it just kind of goes. Grinds. Oh, yeah, I'm no. trying to do this and then eventually just goes, oh yes, I'm not going to change gear. Where are we going, Heather? Tony's chocolate only. Let's not get lonely with chocolate. All right. It takes balls to end exploitation. All right. Oh my God. So we might have to come back to create your own. I've never seen half of these. I want to know what flavors they are. You're not the first one today. I appreciate it. What's your favorite flavor, actually? Um, this one, I think. Which is the flavor? It's milk chocolate, nuts, nuts, almonds, sea salt, caramel. Everything? Yeah, and pretzel. You, you sold me it's, immediately. Yeah. It's a little. Yeah. Thank you. Tony Chocolate Only merch. This is a mole skin. What is this? Playing cards? Chocolate milk? I, it's blowing my mind, Heather. Xmas tree, Tony's bar. Wow. What makes these different? You get an S. Oh, I love a good S. Well, that was honestly really interesting, I have to say. Good. I enjoyed my time in the Tony's Drive Lonely. I just wanted to get some chocolate, and that I did. No moleskin for me, though. <laughs> now we're just gonna see if we can take a nice photo, if we can find our bikes. Strengthening balls. <laughs> so I'm in Amsterdam, and I'm getting stereotypical. I ordered some puffertjes, little baby pancakes, except I wanted them to be so me. They are covered in Lotus Biscoff. We've got some Biscoff crumbles, Biscoff sauce, Biscoff ice cream. So Amsterdam is full of vending machines where you can just buy full-on meals and burgers. Reminds me of uh, Japan, actually. Look at this. Get yourself a Vega Kip burger. Phenomenal. Oh my god, this bitter one. Oh no, I don't know what that is. It's a uh, croquette. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. So those are all the red lights, and as you can see, I need to put the camera away probably because I don't want to get beat up. Well, Follendam is full of tourists, actually, like myself. I feel like this is, uh, I did one of these trips with my mom to Scotland and I bullied her the whole time. So it's like, I don't usually like doing uh, coach trips where they take you different places, but uh, curiosity did get the better of me. So I went on, it's okay, but I much prefer just doing things at my own pace and uh, not 
going with a giant group. It just feels more real. And as you can see, the sun is up because it is currently like 34 degrees, or at least it feels that way. I think it's actually only like 29, but geez. Well, at least I got to see some windmills. That's, uh, it's, it's been a thing I've wanted to see for a while, so this kind of made it feel a little bit worth it just to be able to see one, take some photos of them. They're really pretty. Well, it has been a lovely stay. I just had a little fight with myself because I lost the bike key. I left it in the bike. So it's time to go. We've not got much time left. Hopefully we have enough time for maybe one more stroke waffle, maybe a photo shoot, but we have to carry our luggage back with a bike. Very difficult. Let's see what we can do. Looks like we figured it out. Oh, oh boy. Nice. All right. Uh, move that there, make sure that's locked in. All right, this will only make bicycling that much more difficult. I do travel stuff, but I also do uh, stuff I find interesting about the US and the UK. So when Germany is good, yeah. but there are some problems. Yeah. No problems. Hope you have a nice day. You. My YouTube's just at Evan. Check it out. <laughs> See it. That was interesting. <laughs> just walk around with a tiny little GoPro thing and uh, people ask me if I'm YouTuber. It's true. It's true. Uh, we're now just, we managed it. It's been a bit difficult with the suitcase, but uh, here we are, coming up to the end to deposit our bikes. Success. We ended up getting a stroke off at the last minute. And we're just gonna make it in time. You know what? I like Oreos. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm Saturday. I am exhausted. We still gotta do now Brussels all the way to London. Here we go. And at long last, we've made it back to London. You know what I could really go for? Another stroke off. Maybe for dessert. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Bit of a different video. I shot most of it on my uh, different camera for ease, just because I was going around and I just wanted to be able to quickly do things and uh, get back into vlogging. I'm currently like five videos behind, but uh, I'm doing it for me, and that's why I'm just kind of having fun with it. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this bit of a different one with voiceover and stuff. I'm now going to sweat it out because it's like still 30 degrees, but now in London. Great. Anyway, I hope you guys have a nice September, October, November, December, and the other months.